हेलो वन वेलकम टू आउट राइट टूडे आर फोकस इज टर्की और तुर्की इट इज अबाउट हाउ इंडिया एंड अदर कंट्रीज आर ज्वाइनिंग हैंड्स टू मेक टर्की एंड इन सिग्निफिकेंट कंट्री फॉर डेकेट्स टर्की हैज लेवरेज इट्स पोजिशन एज द लैंड ब्रिज बिटवीन एशिया एंड यूरोप टू एग्जर्ट इन्फ्लुएंस ऑन द वर्ल्ड स्टेज एंड ड्यू टू इट्स कंट्रोल ओवर द स्टेट्स ऑफ बोस्फोरस एंड डार्डेनल्स it also controls flow of trade between east europe russia and rest of the world so turkey enjoys quite a unique position on the world stage which helps it earn money influence and reputation but now india is breaking turkey's monopoly over the east west trade routes we all know turkey is india's major rival it is in fact a major ally of pakistan not only that Turkey also keeps raking up the issue of Kashmir at the UN. Even in the latest UN GA meeting earlier this week, Turkish leader Recep Tayyip Erdogan mentioned Kashmir in his address. Another development that will pave the way for regional peace, stability and prosperity in South Asia will be the establishment of a just and lasting peace in Kashmir through dialogue and cooperation between India and Pakistan As Turkey we will continue to support the steps to be taken in this direction So what exactly is India doing to inflict harm on Turkey's economic interests Almost a month ago India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi went to Greece Before PM Modi's visit India's ambassador to Greece met with the management authority of the Thessaloniki Port Authority you can see the red mark on your screen there is the port the entry point to Europe so as per reports indian billionaire gotham adani is looking to invest in one of greek ports now it could be thessaloniki port adani has also shown interest in kavala and volos ports those ports are again on your screen no matter which port is ultimately used by india Greece is sure to emerge as India's gateway to Europe and both our countries will gain much from this arrangement. Greece will deepen its importance on the new trade routes emerging from the east and India will gain entry into Europe for the first time in history. Turkey is again bypassed, thus once again undermining the myth that the east can only reach the west via Turkey. There is one China angle also because the Greek port of Piraeus is controlled by China and is a part of its Belt and Road Initiative or BRI. So India will be killing two birds with one stone. Furthermore, India is also pushing the IMAC project in the region as we know which will connect India to Europe via West Asia. This project again bypasses Turkey. Turkey became so angry at this project that it declared there can be no corridor without Turkey. Erdogan also issued threats against EU. Turkey is angry because it knows it will lose its geopolitical value once the IMAC project becomes operational. But Turkey has one more source of headache. The proposed 650 km canal that will reach the Danube river in Serbia. from Thessaloniki via Skopje and slash shipping time to the Danube river by 3 and a half days once this canal is made both of turkey's straits will go useless turkey will get reduced to a land based power as it has traditionally and always been while greece which already has the world's second largest commercial fleet will have more eastern cargo reaching its ports So this is a win-win situation for both Greece and India. For Turkey though it is like nightmare coming true. Before you go don't forget to subscribe to Outright for more such videos. See you in the next video.